Batmech welcomes you to our instructional video series. This instructional video is for the 2006 to 2016 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Battery Pack for Module Replacement and Repair. This video is intended for highly trained individuals who understand the risks of working with high voltage. Risk includes loss of property or life. Repair at your own risk. To streamline this series, this video begins after the removal of your battery from the vehicle. Here's a look at our suggested personal protective equipment, or PPE. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. We recommend using high voltage gloves to protect you, and then putting leather gloves over the high voltage gloves to protect the gloves. There are times during the disassembly where there is more risk of exposure to high voltage, so please be careful and wear your gloves when in doubt of your safety. We recommend placing the battery case on a non-conductive work surface. Let's get started. You'll start by removing the screws that are used to attach the top metal case and top metal panel. Now that the screws are removed, you can remove the metal panel and top of the metal case. This will expose the battery modules and components. Next, locate the three fans and remove the nuts used to fasten them to the case. Now that the fans are removed, proceed by lifting them off and setting them aside. Please note, there is no need to unplug the wiring for this battery replacement. Next, using a small flathead screwdriver, flip open the black plastic wiring harness covers. Use the small holes on the front of the cover and gently press down to unlock the tabs that connect to the battery modules. Note the tabs and how they connect underneath the tabs on the modules. This is what you will be unlocking with the screwdriver. Now, remove the rest of the black plastic wiring harness covers from the battery modules. Once the black plastic wiring harness covers are off, you can remove the vent tubes. Next, pop open the four plastic terminal covers, exposing the nuts that will need to be removed. Once the terminals are exposed, go ahead and remove the nuts. Use a pen magnet if you need to, to remove any loose nuts that may have fallen. Now that the nuts have been removed, proceed by removing the wires from those terminals. Next, completely remove the black plastic wiring harness cover from the battery modules. Now that the wiring harness is exposed, go ahead and remove all the nuts that attach the wiring harness to the battery modules. You may find it helpful to bend down the fan flaps, as shown here, to get better access to the nuts. It's a good idea to use a pen magnet to help with the removal of some of the loose nuts. Be sure not to lose this metal terminal connector, as it is loose from the wires and wiring harness. Go ahead and remove the wiring harness. Again, here is a metal terminal connector. Be sure not to lose it, as it is loose from the wires and wiring harness. Now, on the opposite side of the battery pack, remove the black plastic wiring harness covers. Once the black plastic wiring harness covers are removed, proceed by removing the nuts that hold the wiring harness in place. Here's another time, a pen magnet might come in handy. Once the nuts are removed and you've picked up all the loose nuts that might have fallen, you can remove the orange wiring harnesses from this side. Please note, if the orange harness is not coming off as easy as you would like, you can use a small flathead screwdriver. Keep in mind, if you touch any two terminals at the same time with the screwdriver, you may experience a spark. Be careful not to do so. 
Now, you'll prepare to remove the three battery module sections. But before you can completely remove the three battery module sections, you'll need to lift one side up and remove the temperature sensor wiring that is attached to the bottom. Go ahead and do this for all three module packs. And once you're done removing those three battery packs, your Toyota Highlander battery case is ready for the installation of your Batmech refurbished packs. Now that the battery is completely disassembled, you can prepare to reassemble the battery. Carefully unpack your Batmech boxes. Your Batmech batteries are individually tested to assess leaks, capacity, voltage, and internal resistance. The highest and lowest capacities are arranged in ways to optimize the pack's performance and to optimize the differences in block voltage throughout the pack. Each pack is load tested at the same time, but Batmech monitors the voltage of each individual module when testing. Packs are tested under a high current load. Now that you have unpacked your Batmech refurbished modules, the first step to reassemble the battery is to attach the temperature sensors to the bottom of the three battery packs. Some of the wires may be easier to reattach if the packs are slightly tilted when the wires are reattached. The rest of the reassembly of the battery pack will re-energize the battery. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop safety protocol. Before attaching the wire harness, be sure your torque settings on your torque wrench are set to about 55 inch-pounds. If you don't follow these torque settings, you are likely to damage the terminals on the modules and will void your warranty. Never use max drill settings and never use an impact wrench. Your next step is to attach the orange wiring harnesses. Before you do so, you may find it easier to slightly bend the metal fan side portions of the case down prior to installing the orange wiring harnesses. This will give you better access to attaching the hardware. Once you've slightly bent the metal side portions down, attach the orange wiring harnesses as shown here. Pay close attention and make sure you have this main wire eyelet installed into the wiring harness before putting the new nuts on. Proceed by attaching the orange wiring harness to the terminals using your Batmech supplied nuts. Don't forget to reattach this wire to the harness as well. Repeat the same steps for attaching the orange wire harness you used on the first module pack for the next two packs. Be sure to attach all the eyelets we pointed out to complete the circuit. Don't forget the last eyelet. After completing the attachment of the three orange wiring harnesses to your three battery modules, your wiring harness should look like this. Moving to the other side of the battery, connect the three orange pieces to the battery modules using the supplied nuts. Now's a good time to take a photograph of each side of the battery. These photographs can be used for review of assembly if you experience issues. This may save you from having to uninstall the entire battery later. Now that the wiring harness is attached, you'll reattach the vent tubes and black wiring harness covers. Continue attaching the vent tubes all the way down. Here's where the black wiring harness covers go on, in case you have forgotten. If you bent the case down in the previous step, now would be a good time to bend the case back up to its more natural position. Back to the opposite side of the battery pack. Attach the black wiring harness covers, as seen here. If the black wiring harness covers will not attach to the ends of the modules, use electrical tape to hold the covers in place. Keep in mind, you can always add electrical tape to any of the covers that will not close properly.
Next, attach the three fans using the original nuts. Finally, it is time to wrap up our project by putting the metal case back on. Once on, go ahead and secure it with the original hardware. Lastly, you'll put the metal panel back on and secure it with the original hardware. Your battery rebuild is now complete. You can reinstall the battery pack back into the vehicle. Here are a few pro tips. Be sure the service plug is secured properly, otherwise you'll get error codes. You'll also want to clean your cabin filter every three months. Be sure to clean your cooling fan. Dirty cooling fans can cause the battery to overheat. This concludes our how to demonstration. Remember as a highly skilled mechanic with high voltage training to wear the appropriate personal protection equipment your shop requires. Stay safe and thank you for shopping on batmech.com.